right, so next we're gonna groom his body. We're gonna talk about two different brushes. This is a dandy brush, so this is just for standard grooming. But if your horse has got mud on them, then you're gonna wanna use this, which is a metal curry, okay? Fortunately for us, um, we didn't get any rain and blue is not muddy. So you would only use this metal curry on his body. You wouldn't wanna use it on his joints here because that's, you know, that's gonna be more uncomfortable for him. So let's say he had mud on him. So we would use this to break up the mud and then we'd use this to get the rest of it off, okay? But since we have no mud, all right. So now we're gonna use our dandy brush. We're gonna start at the top and we're gonna use our wrist in a flicking motion to move the dirt from the top all the way down. So you're kind of slinging the dirt off of him onto the ground. Okay, so you work from the top to the bottom. Okay, it's very important, especially if we were gonna ride this horse next, that we clean the areas where the saddle is going to be. Okay. Alright, so you wouldn't want to forget about under his belly. Okay. You could also brush down his legs if you wanted to. But luckily for us this horse is pretty clean. Alright, so um, we're going to pass around our horse, so we're going to keep our hand on the top of him. We're going to look at his ears to make sure that everything is okay. If he was uncomfortable or he was thinking about kicking, his ears would actually slick back on his head. But right now, they're just in a listening position, so we're fine. So we're going to move around the horse quickly, and then we're going to come over here. We're going to move his hair out of the way. We're going to brush from the top. Okay. Look at his chest shoulder, behind the shoulder, top of his back, all the way down, his belly, okay, all the way to the top of his rump, down, down his leg if you wanted to. Okay. All right. Okay, and then if you wanted to move back to the other side, put your hand here. Ears, make sure everything's going on okay. Pass over. And that's that. All right. Now we're going to spray our horse with fly spray because it is uh, summertime and the flies are out and they do bite the horses and irritate them. Uh, it is important that you train your horse to accept fly spray first. Uh, if they haven't been trained to accept it, then you're going to want to spray it on a rag and then rub it on your horse. So Blue has been trained. Um, to accept fly spray even though he's still kind of uncomfortable with it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start the legs. I like to shake up the fly spray to mix it because it gets, um, it settles at the bottom sometimes. So we're going to start at the bottom and then come up inside of both legs. Okay, come up this way. And make sure you get under the belly. That's usually where all the flies are is under the stomach on the legs and in um, the loin area, okay? That's usually where all the flies gather, okay? All right, so then we're gonna go to the other side. Spray on his leg, on the inside of the other leg, on his chest, up on his back. This leg, uh, that leg, that just leg. And now he's fly sprayed. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to brush his tail. Okay, so we're going to bring his tail to the side. We're going to brush it here on our leg. And we're going to work up all the way to the top. It's very important to brush your horse's tail to keep it healthy, shiny, and to keep it free of debris. If you notice, I'm standing a very particular way to keep myself out of kicking range. Standing here at his hip, and I bring the tail to the side to me. Okay. All right. So Blue's mane is on his left side. So what we're going to do is we're going to stay close to the horse. We're going to put our hand on his hip. We're going to look at his ears. When we're looking at his ears, make sure he's not tinning his ears. Usually horses, if they're going to kick or do something like that, they're going to warn you by tinning their ears back first which as you can see, Blue doesn't really care. He's just in a listening position. So I'm gonna travel quickly to the other side. I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing and brush his mane. So I'm gonna start at the bottom and I'm gonna work my way over. Okay. Okay, so 
you get a tangle, you're just going to have to stop and work it through. Now, if your horse's mane is really tangled, you're going to want to buy um, like some laser sheen or show sheen and really work that in there. And if it's got a bunch of dreads or knots, you're probably going to have to get some scissors to really help work through that, uh, that dread. Okay. Well, luckily for us, Blue doesn't have any of those because we keep him, we keep him brushed and groomed. Very important so that your horse stays nice looking and plus it makes them more comfortable. Also another thing uh, that I'm sure a lot of people are going to be thinking is if I brush my hair that you know that hard it's really going to hurt but you don't have to worry about that with horses because horses actually don't have nerve endings in their hair so we could actually rip out all of his hair. I think it's called roaching and um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's not going to hurt him at all. So I can really tug on him. Okay. He's going to be annoyed that I'm tugging on him, but it's not causing him any kind of pain like if somebody grabbed my hair and yanked on it. Okay. All right, and I guess the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to stop the camera. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to clean Blue's face. He gets a dirty face every now and then, just like our other horse cores. Uh, the first thing I'm going to use is uh, this kind of soft rubber curry, okay? And I'm going to bring face, face, I'm going to bring Blue's face to me, and I'm going to use it in a circular motion. Um, most of my horses really enjoy this. It's like a little face massage. You see Blue's like, oh yeah, he likes that, okay? So it stir, helps stir up the dirt. I usually always use the curry first so I can really kind of break up the dirt on his face. Done with that, then I have a little face brush. I'm gonna put his face all back in order because when I was using that circular motion, I stirred up the dirt. So I'm using this just to flick all that dirt and extra hair and dander and stuff off of his face. Okay. What you can also use is you can use um, baby fresh wipes, and these are like unscented baby fresh wipes. They're not expensive at all, like less than a dollar for a package. And uh, you do have to train your horse to accept this. You can see Blue doesn't really care that much for baby wipes. He's got his body language. He's kind of away from me a little bit. So I use these like to clean around their eyes and stuff and in their nose. Because uh, if you notice, it gets pretty dirty in there. I'm going to bring him to me. I'm just going to kind of clean his face with it. I had to train Blue to accept this. At first, he uh, he was not very pleased. Okay, so then I can clean right here, this eye, this ear, and the other eye. Because he gets they get eye goo every now and then. Okay, and then I can use this and clean in his nostrils. This was quite fun the first time I ever did this with him. Okay, clean his nostrils. Now he's got a clean face. Can you see? Close for the camera, Blue. Ooh. Blue's camera shy. <laughs> You're alright, Blue. Alright, now we're going to talk about uh, cleaning Blue's hooves. Alright, so it's very important that when you're cleaning a horse's hooves, you want to make sure that you get all the debris and stuff out of there. Uh, it would be the same thing uh, if he had a rock in his hoof. It would be the same if you had a rock in your shoe and all of your weight was standing on. Uh, that rock would be really uncomfortable. So we want to make sure that all four of his hooves are clean. Uh, another thing that's really important that we need to think about is for him to give me this hoof right here, he actually has to take his weight off of it, just like he did there, um, so that I can get it. If he's standing on all four of his feet, then I will not be able to physically pick up that foot, okay? All right, so we're gonna have Blue take a step forward because he's kind of standing back. I just put pressure on the lead rope, asked him to take one step forward. So I'm going to press my shoulder against his shoulder right here and run my hand down his leg. And what, what pressing my shoulder against his shoulder is going to do is it's going to shift his weight off of this foot onto his right foot. Okay. So I'm going to run my hand down, 
push my shoulder against his. You see his weight shift, and he's gonna give me that foot. So I'm gonna reach down and grab it. Stand on your feet, buddy. Reach down, I'm gonna grab it. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it. Uh, the tip of my toe, tip of his toe with uh, my fingers, and I'm gonna hold my pick in this position. And I'm gonna dig right here on either side of the frog. This right here, arrowhead in the center is the frog, and on either side is the bars. That's where rocks and debris are more than likely gonna get trapped. You wanna make sure those are clean. Okay. All right, so you can scrape it out. Now, this is not gonna hurt him. Okay, this does not hurt his foot. It's just like um, getting your toenails trimmed and stuff when the farrier comes. Not gonna hurt him at all. So you can also brush it out if you choose to. And then you wanna put it down gently and make sure that your foot is out of the way. You do not wanna put it down with your foot underneath him. Okay, put it down gently. All right, so that's a front foot. Now back feet are a little bit different. Still gonna be the same about shifting his weight off of this foot onto that foot and onto his I'm gonna run my hand down. He's gonna be a good boy and give it to me. Okay. I'm actually gonna take his hoof and I'm actually gonna step out of the back foot. Okay. This hoof is actually pretty clean. So you can see the bars on either side are clean. And then you see the frog in the center. And then I'm just gonna put it down gently. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna put my hand on him and I'm gonna quickly go to the other side. He's gonna shift his weight off of this foot. clean as well. And then put it down gently. Okay. Alright, now another front foot. More than likely this one's going to be dirty because he's been standing in the pond. Alright. So I'm going to press my shoulder into his shoulder. Run my hand down his leg. Good. Hold it at the tip of his toe with my fingertips. Clean out the bars. nothing in there and then put his foot down gently okay and that's how you clean all four feet um, the first thing is <laughs> okay the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna brush our way up okay. well, this is gonna be pretty easy because I already sprayed a detangler <laughs> detangling spray in there Ugh. sounds pretty clean I like the horses here at the ranch to be clean. Um, that was terrible. <laughs> I just restart. There, I'll. Good morning. You don't be too forceful, but enough that I want to move the dirt off of his body. Okay. All right. Go ahead and stop. <laughs> 